about 90% of people with diabetes have type 2 diabetes. The signs may not be obvious, or there may be no signs at all. Some people can live with it for might be up to 10 years before being diagnosed. That's why it's very important to know the diabetes risk factors. In this video I will share to you some risk factors of diabetes. But before that, if you are new to this channel please give us some like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated to every time we upload new video. Types of Diabetes There are three main types of diabetes, these are type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. The type 1 diabetes is thought to be caused by an immune reaction, the body attacks itself by mistake. The risk factors for type 1 diabetes are not as clear as for prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. The well-known risk factors of type 1 diabetes is the family history, having a parent, brother, or sister with type 1 diabetes. And next is the age, you can get type 1 diabetes at any age, but it usually develops in children, teens, or young adults. In the United States, white people are more likely to develop type 1 diabetes than African American and Hispanic or Latino people. While with the type 2 diabetes, your body doesn't use insulin well and can't keep blood sugar at normal levels. About 90-95% to of people with diabetes have type 2. You are at risk for type 2 diabetes if you have pre-diabetes. With pre-diabetes, blood sugar levels are higher than normal. Pre-diabetes raises your risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. You're at risk if you are overweight. And you are 45 years or older. You are also at risk if you have a parent, brother, or sister with type 2 diabetes. If you are physically active less than three times a week, you at risk too. An African American, Hispanic or Latino, American Indian, or Alaska Native person. Some Pacific Islanders and Asian American people are also at higher risk. If you have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease you may also be at risk for type 2 diabetes. You can prevent or delay type 2 diabetes with proven lifestyle changes. These include losing weight if you're overweight, eating a healthy diet, and getting regular physical activity. Gestational diabetes is third type of diabetes. Gestational diabetes develops in pregnant women who have never had diabetes. If you have gestational diabetes, your baby could be at higher risk for health problems. Gestational diabetes usually goes away after your baby is born. However, it increases your risk for type 2 diabetes later in life. Your baby is more likely to have obesity as a child or teen and develop type 2 diabetes later in life. Before you get pregnant, you may be able to prevent gestational diabetes with lifestyle changes. These include losing weight if you're overweight, eating a healthy diet, and getting regular physical activity. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video to help prevent risk of this health problem.